This set is crazy. Yo. As you can see, my hair is long and fluffy. That's because we're currently in lockdown. And yeah, meaning that nothing is open. All the shops are closed, including hairdressers. So but on a brighter note, uh, new episode today. And we're, and uh, I'll be showcasing you another really awesome work from a, this time from a Japanese director. And no, I'm not Japanese. My ethnic background is Korean, just for those of you who, who do not know me or who are new to the channel. So today's director is Sho Yanagisawa. Did I say that right? Sho? Sho Yanagisa, Yanagisawa. Uh, before we get to the video, uh, just a little background about moi. I am a film director, commercial director to be more specific. So I direct TV commercials. My name is Aswa. This channel is basically me showcasing some really awesome work out there. Um, TV commercial, to be more precise. Perhaps we can venture into music videos, perhaps in future episodes. But for the meantime, I mean, this is what, uh, what I specialize in, is basically TV commercials and ad content. Uh, I feel that the majority of people out there aren't aware of these really amazing cinematic big budget TV commercials. So uh, this channel is me showing them to you, introducing you to some, what I would call the echelon of TV commercials with uh, these, I would say high-end directors. I mean, these guys are, I would say the equivalent of Spielberg, Christopher Nolan, I mean, in the commercial world I'm talking about. Perhaps I'm hyping this too much. Anyway, this um, this Japanese director, he's, um, I've seen some of his work. Uh, I first stumbled upon his work. Uh, it was called, let me just double check. Oh, Gravity Cat. So some of you may have seen it. It's really cool, very um visually creative i would say if i was to compare him to another director i would say more he, he's kind of kind of like michelle gondry let's say but in his own way he he has his own unique style i have to say commercial i'll be showing you today is it, it's for Pukari sweat and it's titled but i saw you before we start, uh, don't forget to like this episode, leave a comment, just say hi, or let me know how things are going, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And most importantly, please subscribe. Just, just click that button, it's not hard. My first milestone is 100 subscribers, which isn't much, but uh, it's a lot for me. So if you can help me, reach my first 100 subscribers yeah who knows down the line i may start giving out some um some prizes yeah so let's get to this uh commercial shall we let's check this out and here we go i believe this is a fairly new spot because i i saw this like maybe two or so months ago was pretty new. Uh, this this set is crazy. I guess he used a really wide angle lens on. Huh? You can see the distortion on the door when she opened it. So this is all just one shot. I wonder if there are any cuts at all. I didn't notice any, except for that. How 
Ducati Sweto. Cool, huh? I have to say that um, the behind the scenes is also is equally as amazing because you'll you'll find that a lot of what you saw in this video was was all practical basically that that hallway where it where they create that wave effect is all done for real i'll leave a link to the behind the scenes and i'll also um i'll also leave a link to show the director uh, official page and his Vimeo site so you can check out more of his work but also do check out Gravity Cat that one's really cool I think that kind of put him on the map for those of you who are curious about this shirt look at this there's a cool shirt on the man the myth the legend as well and a lot of you you have been asking me about um uh, which camera I use for my photos. So basically I use a Fuji X100F. This is just a, this is just a lens hood, but, um, but yeah, it's just a small, pretty compact camera. And I have to say that I would highly recommend if, if you're, a, if you're a beginner, which, which I am, I'm, I'm, I'm no professional. I mean, I barely use most of what's here. I mean, I do play around a bit, but not too much. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking me what camera I use. So yeah, I use the X100F. If you have the money, however, I would strongly recommend you get the X100V. That's the newer model. I find that the F is a little soft. Um, I, I would like it to be a bit sharper and I, and from what I've heard and read in reviews is that the V yeah, is a bit more sharper. On top of that, it's, um, it's waterproof, like not waterproof as in you can dunk it in the water, but like if it's raining, you can still take pictures while this one you can't. So, so yeah, that's a plus if you are able to purchase the X100V. Yeah, if you want to do some street photography, highly recommend the X100 series. To get back to the video, well executed, extremely well done. And um, and also to shoot this all in, in one take was amazing, really amazing. And yeah, if you see the behind the scenes, it's, it's just crazy. You have, um, I think it was two people on, on, um, on a gimbal set up chasing the girl as the as the corridor the hallway is like moving like a wave i mean it's just insane i mean the closest thing that i've done to this was was a hallway was a hallway created but it was just the hallway it was, it was nothing else there was no um wavy floor or anything it was just on set they just built a really long hallway and we lit it up and yeah it was a, it was a cool shot it was for a spot that i did for budweiser and yeah i'm still doing still working on the director's cut for that so yeah i mean um when that's up um you can you'll be able to see it on my website when it's ready so yeah you can go check out my website asmahan.com for some of my work. Follow me on Instagram at asawa underscore han. And for those of you who are in the creative industry, TV, commercial industry, if you're a director, cinematographer, producer, uh, person who works in the agency, leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything I should be checking out. Uh, maybe even send me a link and I may react to it in a future episode. If you like today's video, smash that like button. Most importantly, please subscribe and leave a comment. Just say hi or, you know, how things are going. Or if you have any questions about the industry, I'm more than happy to answer those questions. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Whoosh.